Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use a place value chart on solving this one. Pause the video while you do your work. Our first add end, 3 tenths, along with 8 hundredths. And then our next add end is 4 hundredths. I can bundle and regroup. So our answer is 4 tenths along with 2 hundredths. Did you write that out? And there's your work numerically as well. The objective is to add decimals using place value strategies and relate those strategies to a written method. Here we're asked to add 2 tenths plus 6 tenths. Let's use a place value chart. There's 2 tenths, and there is 6 more tenths. Altogether, we have 8 tenths. So that was 2 tenths plus 6 tenths, equaling 8 tenths. We added like units there, and we, in this case we, didn't need to, we did not need to bundle or regroup. Here we have another problem, 2 tenths, 5 thousandths, plus 6 hundredths. Let's use a place value chart. For our first number, here's 2 tenths, and then 5 thousandths. And for our next add end, 6 hundredths. There's no regroups needed. There ends up being 0 ones, 2 tenths, 6 hundredths, and 5 thousandths our decimal point. Let's use our written method. First number is written as 205 thousandths. Next number is written as 6 hundredths. We can put a zero in the thousandths place there, and we can show that addition. Again, the answer is 265 thousandths. Here's another problem. Let's model the first number. That's 1, followed by 8 tenths. 13 tenths, we can write that as 1 1, along with 3 tenths. Now when we're adding these together, we will have to bundle. We have 10 tenths here. And 10 tenths regroups to 1. So I'm left with 3.1 as our answer. Let's show this numerically. 8 tenths along with 3 tenths gives us 11 tenths. 1, regroup the 1. 1, 1, and 1 is 3, and there's a decimal point. So my sum is 3.1, or 3 and 1 tenth. Here's another problem. 148 thousandths. 1... Four, eight. Add it together with seven ones. Along with thirteen thousandths.
in adding these together, there is a regroup. Regroup is in the thousandths place. We bundle 10 of those to regroup them to the hundredths place. So there's one left there. There's six hundredths, one tenth, and seven ones. So I have the number 7.161. Let's solve this numerically to see whether or not I get the same answer. 148 thousandths, and there's seven ones. 13 thousandths. 8 and 3 is 11. 1, regroup the 1. 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. 1 in the tenths place, and in the ones place there's a 7. So I do get the same number numerically that I got using the place value chart. Let's use disks on our place value board to solve this, along with numbers. Model the first number. Six tenths with two hundredths. Our second number. Five tenths, nine hundredths. We can regroup from our hundredths place. And we can also regroup. There's our regroup from the tenths place. So we have 1.21. 1 as our answer here. Let's write this numerically. Line up our place values. Two hundredths and nine hundredths is eleven hundredths. One, regroup a one. One plus six plus five is twelve. 2, regroup a 1, and a 1 in the 1's place. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use a place value chart and add them numerically. Modeling our first add end. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 hundredths. For our next add in, that is 5, 3, 4, 5, 3 tenths, and 6 hundredths. Regroup. Left with 4 hundredths there. We have 4 tenths, and another regroup. Line them up numerically to add them. Hopefully you did that as well. 8 plus 6 is 14. 4, regroup a 1. 4 in the tenths place. And 7 and 5 is 12. 12.44 or 12 and 44 hundredths.